What's up guys and welcome back to Sliced. Today I'm going to be showing you a few tips on how you can transform ingredients that you normally have in your kitchen into something a bit more special. So as you can see we've got some mashed potato, some frozen veg and some old tortillas and we're going to transform these into something a bit more interesting. So starting with our mash, normally if you follow the instructions on the back of the pack you'd add the dry potato with some seasoning to a bowl or a pan. Mix it together and slowly add some boiling water until it's mixed. And as you can see, it kind of looks sad and boring and we can make it a little bit more interesting with the help of some extra virgin rapeseed oil. And I know this sounds weird, but this is a really interesting trick that I learned when I was on placement. And by working in the rapeseed oil bit by bit into the mash, you get this amazing silky textured dairy free mash and it's a better alternative to using butter and cream. And you can just see the difference between the two. If you look at the second one, it looks so much more golden and creamy. So say earlier on in the week you had some fajitas or some curry and you got some leftover tortillas. Rather than waste them, you can cut them into eighths, marinate them in some salt, pepper, cayenne pepper and some oil and cook them on a medium heat in a pan for about two minutes on each side. Now I wish I could say I learned this one on placement, but I actually saw it on the Ellen Show one time. So anyway, yeah, we're going to flip them nice and golden, and that's all there is to it. And so just like that, you have some fresh homemade tortilla chips. So now we're going to move on to our veg, and the standard approach to this is just to boil it, and I mean, that's a good enough start. But oh my gosh, the amount of times I've seen boiled plates of food on Twitter is just ridiculous. I mean, look at this. Oh my gosh, I'm just going to have to let Oprah describe this one. I think, did we add salt and pepper? I think we needed salt and pepper. <laughs> no, there's no salt and pepper in it. Seriously, guys, you've got to season your food. Anyway, two parts of butter in a pan with one part of flour. We're going to cook this on a low heat until you can't feel that sort of grainy texture of the flour anymore. And once it's cooked through, we can start to add our milk and give it a whisk until it's thickened. Make sure you season it with some salt and pepper and any other spices and pour it over your veg in a pan. Finish it with some cheese and that can go under the grill on a really high heat until it's nice and golden. And as you can see, this is a much better alternative to having plain boiled veg. So thank you guys for watching, please like, subscribe and follow me on my socials at sliced underscore YT.